Hey there, soap enthusiast! Welcome back to the Ruta Coop channel, where we're all about suds and scents. Today, we're going to be diving into this delightful soap making experience with a twist. Today's soap concoction is going to be a real treat for your senses. We'll be making a batch of creamy, nourishing, handmade soap using goat milk. We will infuse it with a tantalizing fragrance of mango and papaya. Trust me, this is going to be a tropical paradise in a soap bar. All right, folks, we've got our ingredients gathered up. We've already started. We are gonna be using goat milk powder today, which is packed with vitamins and minerals to moisturize and pamper your skin. And then we have our mango and papaya fragrance oil. And just a whiff of these scents will transport you to a sun-kissed beach. You may be wondering why goat milk powder instead of fresh goat milk? Well, that's a great question. While using fresh goat milk is definitely an option and a wonderful option, for making handmade soap. Using goat milk powder offers some unique advantages as well, and let me explain. Firstly, goat milk powder has a longer shelf life compared to fresh goat milk. This means that we can store it for longer periods of time without having to worry about spoilage. This is especially beneficial when it comes to making soap in larger batches or for future batches. Secondly, goat milk powder is easier to work with in soap making. It helps to create a more consistent texture and allows for better control over the soap making process. The powder can be easily measured and added to the soap mixture, ensuring a precise amount of goat milk in each batch. Additionally, the goat milk powder offers the convenience. It's easy to store and transport, making it accessible for soap makers who may not have immediate access to fresh goat milk. This way, we can enjoy the benefit of goat milk in our soap making adventures regardless of our location. Lastly, using the goat milk powder allows us to experiment with different soap recipes and variations without having to worry about the availability of fresh goat milk. It gives us the flexibility to explore a wide range of soap creations, including different scents, colors, and additives while still incorporating that nourishing properties that goat milk offers. So, while both fresh goat milk and goat milk powder have their merits, using goat milk powder in our soap making process provides us with the convenience, versatility, and the opportunity to create an amazing soap bar consistently. And there you have it. That's the reason behind using goat milk powder in our handmade soap adventures. Now, let's get back to the exciting part and dive into this fragrant mango and papaya scented soap making. You've already seen me add the goat milk powder and blending it in, and I cannot help but appreciate the natural goodness that it brings to this bar of soap. Not only does it provide a luxurious, creamy texture, but it also nourishes and soothes the skin, and it's like a little spa treatment every time you use it. Right now, I'm fixing to split this into two batches so I can have two different colors. I'm going to be doing a white and a, it's going to be kind of an orangey red color and then I'm going to swirl them together. That's the plan. That's not always how it works out with soap making. You have to be able to adapt and change sometimes rather quickly. So the plan was to do this as an in the pot swirl and so I'm splitting the batches now to add my different colorants and while we're doing that let me tell you about this heavenly aroma. This mango and papaya is a match made in soap heaven. Its sweet tropical notes instantly uplift your mood and make your shower time feel like a mini vacation. And I can already imagine myself on a hammock sipping a fruity drink. This smells so good. And just look at these mesmerizing swirls that are forming. It's like painting a masterpiece, but with soap. And that's the beauty of handmade soap. Each bar is unique, just like you and just like me. Plus, it's a great way to express your creativity and add that little personal touch to your bathing routine. Testing out new fragrances can sometimes be challenging, but it's definitely necessary. This was a brand new fragrance that I was testing. And it did lead to some rising in this soap batter. So, while I was attempting to do a swirl, and that's what you will get to see here, after I had cut the recording off, I noticed that it was rising. And 
I was not happy with it and I knew that that would not work and it would not be quality. So I poured the soap batter out of this mold back into the container and I used my stick blender to whip it up some more to get the ricing to go away. You can see a little bit here that it just does not look the way that it's supposed to look. It doesn't have the creamy look that we wanted. So by doing so, when I mix the colors together, I do not have the drop swirls. I do not have the pattern, but I did end up with an absolutely stunning and beautiful bar of soap. The colors are perfect. The creaminess is obvious. It's an amazing bar, and I am so excited about this. So voila, the handmade mango and papaya scented goat milk soap is complete. It's time for the cut. The colors, like I say, turned out just absolutely fantastic, don't you think? And it's just pure eye candy. But remember, the real magic happens when you lather it up and let these fragrances take you away. And there's the cut. We'll get to see the bars. This color is absolutely just beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy. Look at how creamy and nourishing that looks. So again, even though sometimes things do not go the way we planned, they can always come out beautiful. So, if you've enjoyed watching this soap making adventure, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Rooted Coop family. We'd love to have you. We're all about creating natural skin loving products that make your self care routine even more enjoyable. And hey, don't forget, leave me a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and getting your suggestions for future soap creations. And together, we can make this channel into an interactive and vibrant community. Thank you so much for joining me today, soap enthusiast. And remember, embrace the suds, indulge in the scents. And until next time, stay clean, stay creative, and stay rooted. Bye for now.